This dog almost died. Everyone walked past him except one person. In today's world, we often tend to overlook those in need. Many of us are busy with our own lives, and so we feel we can't help anyone else. There is no shame in that, but it does mean that many people in need are not helped. And it's not just people. Animals are often ignored too. And we have a heartbreaking story about one that was almost ignored. Pia always had a good heart. She was someone who wanted to help everyone around her, and that includes animals. Animals were her weakness, and Pia had made a career as an animal rescuer. Whenever she went out on the streets, she would always look for animals that could use help. The girl had rescued all kinds of animals in the past, such as dogs, cats, and birds, and sometimes she thought about keeping the animals she found. However, she knew it wasn't possible. One day, Pia decided it was going to be a trip to her home in Buenos Aires, Argentina. She hadn't been home for a while, and she didn't really intend to work. However, rescuing animals was something that was built into her, and she kept her eyes wide open when she went out on the streets. She was visiting a friend, and during the walk, her friend asked her for advice on how to catch a dog. Pia was very intrigued, and her friend told her that there was a stray dog running around the neighborhood that didn't look so good. As soon as she heard it, she knew she had to do something. She and her friend walked through the neighborhood until she saw the dog pass by. She couldn't believe her eyes. The dog looked very emancipated and as if it wasn't really alive. They started looking for the dog until they found it lying near a house. Pia could not believe her eyes. This poor dog was so thin, she couldn't believe he was still alive. His legs were as thin as sticks and his ribs were sticking out. He was very dirty and breathing heavily, not even moving when Pia and her friend approached. Pia revealed that she cried when she first saw him because she couldn't believe no one would help him. She found no proof that he was owned by anyone, such as a collar or any indication that he lived in the house he was lying in. Pia knew that even if he lived nearby, there was no chance of taking him home. He was clearly abandoned and much more likely to be a very sick stray dog. She knew his chances of survival were very slim, but she took him in her arms and asked her friend where the nearest veterinarian was. They got a cage for him and took him away. The dog was barely breathing, and Pia cried all the way there. It was almost Christmas, and she could not think about the death of this dog so close to Christmas. When she got to the vet, she was a nervous wreck. She had been rescuing animals long enough to know what would happen. The vet confirmed her worst suspicions. Pia was told that the dog probably wouldn't survive a few more days and that there wasn't much they could do. The vet told her that if the dog survived the next two days, by some miracle, there was a better chance of survival. However, getting him through the next two days would be nearly impossible. Pia felt compelled not to accept this diagnosis. Instead of giving up and putting the dog down, she decided to take the poor creature to the place where she was staying. Pia had no medical training. She was not a veterinarian or a doctor. She was used to rescuing animals and letting the vet do his job. However, when she looked into his big brown eyes, she could not absorb it. It seems that the dog didn't want to eat too much, but he did want to drink. Pia stayed up all night and most of the next, making sure he drank water every three hours. When the dog continued to lose weight, she began to worry even more. She knew there was only so much weight he could lose. Twice, she admitted that she thought the dog would not survive, thought the situation was becoming grim, and prepared for the worst. However, she could not accept that she and the dog had worked so hard and gone through so much for everything to now fail. She left everything to focus her attention on the dog, caressing him and giving him all her heart. She had already decided that, if he somehow made it, she was going to adopt him. However, she couldn't think about their future together until he started eating. She couldn't believe her eyes as he ate his first bite. She knew better than to get her hopes up because a small bite meant nothing, but still, her heart soared. She and the dog were getting closer and closer. 
Well, she knew she couldn't rescue all the animals and then adopt them. To her surprise, the dog began to perk up. They were spending so much time together that she thought she should name him. After much thought, she decided to name the dog Hercules. It certainly suited him, as he never stopped fighting, and she had seen many animals throughout her time as an animal rescuer and had never seen one fight as hard as he did. Many of the animals she had rescued and taken to the vet in that condition had not survived, yet Hercules kept looking at her with such determination that she knew he would never give up. He still couldn't walk, but Hercules was getting better every day. Slowly, he began to gain a little weight as he began to awkwardly get up to greet her every time she entered the room. Pia thought maybe Hercules would be around to see next Christmas. A part of her heart kept fearing he wouldn't be around. Every time he licked her face, it took away some of that fear. As the days passed, Hercules began to walk slowly. He began to act like an excited puppy. When he realized he was regaining his strength, it wasn't long before he and Pia were taking walks and playing with a ball. He made several attempts to run. It took him a few times, but before Pia knew it, Hercules was running around the fields they were playing in and running over to greet her every time she entered the room. Her friend couldn't believe the change in the broken little dog they had found on the side of the road, and neither could Pia. The odds were completely against them, but Hercules now looked just like all the other dogs he played with. As the weeks went by, he continued to grow and gain strength little by little. His coat began to grow as well. When Pia first found him, Hercules had no fur at all. He was covered in dirt and a brown color that looked like mud. It was very hard to tell what breed of dog he was or what color his coat would be. Little by little, his fur grew. Pia didn't dare cut it, not even when it was too long, because she knew how hard he had worked to make it grow. Pia was pleased to see that his coat was a nice gray color and growing beautifully. It was soft and shaggy and gave him a very different look. However, his eyes were still the same hopeful and determined. She bought him a necklace, which cemented that she was going to keep him. Hercules had been on an incredible journey, and she wanted to keep it. It was very inspirational, and Pia felt it inspired her to move forward with her life. She had originally planned to give him up for adoption if he survived, but she knew she couldn't do that now. Hercules' story was never clear to Pia. She didn't know if he had a home, or if he never had a loving family, or if he had run away and wasn't capable of surviving on the streets of Argentina. She wanted to think he was a stray dog, because she didn't want to think that someone could do this to an animal. She knew there was cruelty to animals in the world, but this seemed to go beyond that. She often wondered about his history. However, she didn't care, because she felt that fate had brought them together. This was meant to be, and she would never give it up. Pia tried not to think about the fact that there were several dogs in the same condition. She knew that the situation on the streets of Buenos Aires was tough, and she wished she could rescue them all. If Hercules had survived, maybe there were many other dogs that could survive too if they had help. Pia knew she could never stop being an animal rescuer. She had to try to help as many as she could, with Hercules by her side. Today, the pair are inseparable. She says that having a dog like him is a source of pride. They have spent many sleepless nights together and have made it to the other side. She and Hercules go everywhere together and have many photos together. She likes to cuddle with him in bed or go for long walks. They are looking forward to many more days together and many more adventures. Do you have a special animal in your life that is an inspiration to you? We know there are many other amazing animal stories, and we can't wait to hear yours. Tell us your story in the comments. You never know what will inspire others.